I downloaded this on the 1st of the 1st, 2020. Not thrilled it came true when it's finally 2020, but you realize that both 1820 and 1920 had massive plague outbreaks. Hmm. Damn. All right, okay, so it's the start of a new year. Uh, let's not start this one off with this anymore, shall we? Let's, it's still a prevailing issue. It's still something that needs to be sorted out. What's gonna happen? I don't know. I have none of the answers on this kind of thing, but I'm just gonna say, let's shift the topic away from this because we're done just being whiny about it, okay? I know it's aged like wine. We ain't gonna whine about this. <laughs> what I wanna talk about though is in 1348, during the Hundred Years War, there was the massive outbreak of rats in France, and they seem to be supernatural in some way. It was very weird. <laughs> was this a real event? Nope, it was part of a video game. Plague Tale Innocence. I'm, I'm looking forward to the sequel. I really enjoyed that game. <laughs> It had rat tornadoes. Hello and welcome to Calvus. My name is Zen and today we're taking another delve into r slash aged like wine. A subreddit for things that have just stood the test of time and have only gotten better as it's gone by. So let's just jump in, shall we? Guess I got what I asked for from three years ago, December 18th, 2018. At the DMV and really considering wearing a face mask in public everywhere I go. People, cover your mouths! I'm gonna just say this right up right now. I don't see an issue with wearing face masks, even if we're outside of, you know, a burner. But still, I, I, humans can be and most likely are disgusting. We do a lot of things that can just spread a lot of grossness. The human body is both beautiful and disgusting. Cover your mouth. Don't sneeze without covering your mouth and all this kind of stuff. When we speak, we can like project so many germs. There's just so much. You just masks, man. Look up meaning of name Drake. It means snake or dragon. The devil is referred to as both a snake and a dragon in the Bible. Oh, where's this going? <laughs> Jesus' birthday was Yeshua. I don't know how to pronounce that, which translates to a Joshua in English. My face when the Bible was the original Drake and Josh. <laughs> My face when Drake was the and Josh Beck is the Messiah. What? <laughs> Talk about finding connections in the weirdest places. God, really forcing that one. Wow. <laughs> How is this? How is this aged like wine? This is just... What Did this come true? What, what part of this has aged like wine? It's just an observation. <laughs> A profit, profit. In like three years, CSGO will become free to play like TF2 to keep up with its popularity. Or... <laughs> This was six. When did CSGO be go? Uh, when did CSGO be go? <laughs> Free to play? Yeah, well done, me. Uh, I mean, if it works, it works, I guess. I, I used to play it a little bit. I didn't really play too much TF2. I've played both of those games a moderate amount. If the free to play model works for them, even better. It lets more people get into it. I don't see an issue with it. Oh, apparently it went free to play in like 2018. I had no idea it was that early. Wow. Popular Mechanics Magazine in March 1912 hypothesizing that raising atmospheric CO2 may considerably increase temperature in a few centuries. The furnaces of the world are now burning around 2 billion tons of coal a year. When this is burned uniting with oxygen, it adds around 7 billion tons of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere yearly. This tends to make the air a more effective blanket for the Earth and to raise its temperature. The effect may be considerable in a few centuries. Well, with the increase of how much we are pumping out and production and consumption, maybe a few centuries m might have been an overshot. <laughs> Well, I guess nobody could have predicted how fast things would be progressing and just how much growth there was in a lot of things. It, it's it been around for a long time and the issue slowly been worked on, but not enough, I would say. Well, it happened. 2021 prediction thread. Leave your 2021 predictions here now and we will revisit this thread next New Year's Day. Betty White will put... Oh, that's... This, this is middle of the road. This is middle of the road. I, like, straight up. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> this really does suck. Yes, it aged like wine in the sense that it did, it made a prediction, but at the same time, it aged like milk because we lost Betty White. This sadly aged. Oh god, come on, come on! <laughs> is this what this this is gonna be this week? When you realize it's the last year, you'll be able to play with Legos. If you're above 100 and still playing with Legos, I'd say you earned it. Screw the rules on this occasion. Let's let's just play with Legos. I I've lived long enough. I've earned this. <laughs> 
This Tumblr post. Oh god, this is a big one. Ooh, you'll really see redacted and hit that reblog button, huh? Well, does this say I just saw redacted and hit reblog? Redacted. Redacted? Okay, let me spell this out for you. This image has been removed for violating one or more of Tumblr's community guidelines. That's a terrible explanation. Yeah, this is much clearer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of you. They hate to see a redacted boss winning. Random internet users just trying to be comedic. Apollo, the gift of prophecy. <laughs> Tumblr is just making the weirdest, stupidest, and most bizarre turns for its company. Like, I think they just deliberately just have an addiction to just shooting themselves in the foot. I just don't think they understand who uses their website and what for. And they're just like, ah, if we change things to how we want it to be, then everyone will still use us. No, no. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop episode 23. It's live action got canceled. Now I have one other bit of important news for you. We've been on the air for a long time now, and I know it's sudden, but this is our final episode. They're canning us because of low ratings, unfortunately. <laughs> And I'm kind of glad <laughs> it wasn't good. It really wasn't good. Like the trailer with all like the meshing transitions, that was top. That was amazing. That promo piece. But then the actual show was just, oh, oh. I mean, let's not even go into the whole thing with Ed, but <laughs> They're looking like a Spy Kids villain there. I understand why people are trying to make live action versions of anime, like really popular stuff. Uh, one, cash grab, and, and two, making it available to a larger audience who then could potentially go back and enjoy the original source material. But let's face it, they're two different mediums and they don't translate well. <laughs> they just do not. There are so many things that only really work in animation that does not translate well into live action. Not saying it can't be done, but I'm yet to see a good adaptation. Oh, <laughs> on the notes it says, if you haven't seen the new Spider-Man film, skip this post. So I'm going to skip it. I haven't seen it. Ag again, it's the same warning. It's another new Spider-Man <laughs> film spoiler. I'm not going to look at this. I'm sorry for anyone that wants to see these, but no, I'm not doing this. The real Eternals. Good Lord. Fine wines. Yes. <laughs> I've heard a lot of negative things about the new Matrix film. I haven't looked too much into it. I have not. Because I, if when I do see it, I want to go in completely blind as much as possible. But I'm also very confused as to where they could have gone from where they left off. Like, wh where? Is it just a straight up reboot or is it a continuation? I don't know. But jeez, just look at them. Both. Ooh, yes. <laughs> On a 16 year old blog post about Web 2.0, the ultimate target is Microsoft. What a bang that balloon is going to make when someone pops it by offering a free web based alternative to MS Office. Who will? Google? They seem to be taking their time. I. Okay, I can't really, really read the rest. D did this age like wine? How? How? Because, like, Microsoft is like. Microsoft Word is still quite prevalent. Like Google Docs is useful, but like the functions in it are nowhere near as robust as Microsoft Word. Like, Google, like the Google suite of different tools are good for what they are. Yeah, but the Microsoft suite is just way more robust. And there's like open office, there's other things like that. Like Google overall, the only real advantage they have is online storage, which I'm pretty sure Microsoft offers like yeah, OneDrive. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Either way, I've used both. I, I used both, so it doesn't really affect me. Ooh. A comment in a YouTube video about one of the Scarecrow victims found in Batman Arkham City. Scarecrow for next game. <laughs> Scarecrow for next game's main villain. Oh god, please let this happen. Wait, was Scarecrow one of the main villains? Wait, 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 wait. Batman Arkham City, the one after one was Arkham Knight? What, was he the villain main one in that? I thought there was like the actual Arkham Knight and Joker, uh, of course Joker. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it was all about Scarecrow filling the city with his scary poots. That's right, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, well done. Arkham Knight as a game was mid, it was mid, and wait, no, did Scarecrow really have shine all that much in the game? Like he was there as like the general threat, but he didn't really do too much in the game, did he? Saying that, I still need to finish it. <laughs> I've tried to like start, I've tried to finish it like three times now and I always get like midway through and then I just peter off and do other things much like most games these days. Look, there's a lot coming out. There's a lot that and my interests are just so spread out. <laughs> 
And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend who you think is aging like wine every single day. Let them know that this is you thinking about them and how mm, mm, they're good. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> If you want to see some more r slash aged like wine, then stick around just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next video. Have a great rest of your day.